So I'm here with the Benavides. We're here at Legends Boxing. We're here on a Tuesday. I, I had the absolute pleasure of running into you guys at Sunday's Night's Fight. How, uh, how was that for you guys? It was good. You know, it was good uh, to, sc to scout out the competition. You know, and then just have a good time. Overall, we're boxing fans. And we love boxing. So it, was just, it was good just to watch the fights. So. Yeah, no, it seemed like everyone was kind of like really enjoying themselves, you know, yeah. getting to sit down and like just kind of like talk and like hang out as spectators too, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a good time. And then you saw, you got to watch somebody up and close and personal, somebody that you see as a potential opponent. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool, you know what I mean? Um, it's a fight definitely me and my team would want. Um, first, we got to take care of our end, you know what I mean? So. And if we get the WBC back, not if, when we get the WBC back, the WBC belt back, we could unify the title with the WBC and IBF. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a, it's a good opportunity to see the competition up, in, up close and personal. So, you know, you know, just write down a little bit of notes, take them. Most definitely. Yeah. There, you correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys kind of had a little bit of like um, social media back and forth, correct? Yeah, you just, he's just a funny character. He likes to talk. I like to talk a lot, you know what I mean, but yeah, um, we go back and forth a little bit, you know. For you, like, because I, I know sometimes it's more of like people are sometimes doing it to help create hype behind a potential fight, correct? Yeah. Like to kind of get eyes on it and get like other people to like want to make that fight happen. It's just, you know, the thing about that is he thinks he's the best in the middleweight division, super middleweight division. I think I'm the best, you know, so of course we're going to bump heads, you know, and the guy likes to talk a lot. And I'm not gonna let nobody talk to me any way I don't like nobody, you know, in a way that I don't like them talking to me. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely gonna respond back. You know, I think it just, it makes, it's good entertainment for the for the people, you know what For I mean? sure, for sure. Not, you know, well, because then people find it like there's yeah. like a higher intensity behind it. Yeah, and a lot of people always say, oh man, you guys are just talking shit just for, you know, just, uh, just for the views, this and that. You know, but in all reality, they want to see that. They don't want to see no guys saying nothing, you know what I mean? They just, it makes the fight much more interesting. You know what I mean? It definitely. makes it fun for everybody, you know what I mean? It's, and in truth, like what you're saying, uh, in reality, you guys believe you yourself to be the very best. So yeah, you naturally, know. you're going to be like, no, I'm the best, you yeah, know? Yeah. <laughs> you like kind of move out of my way. And it kind of, it kind of motivates you more, a little bit more, you know what I mean? So I just, I like it, you know what I mean? I like, I like all the tension it's getting. I like, you know what I mean? I like it. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. So um, we have uh, the the Broner and the Pacquiao fight. So so what are your guys' thoughts on that? I'm going for uh, Manny Pacquiao. You know he's, he's been a he's been an inspiration to me since I was a little kid. You know uh, he's one of my favorite fighters to this day. Um, you know I'm going for I'm going for Pacquiao. I think Broner has a he has a good chance of beating him because you know we see Pacquiao has a has a difficult time with that uh, what is that the Philly Shell defense. Whatever it's called, and um, it just depends on what Broner shows up that day. You know what I mean? If he's, if that's he's, what everyone's saying. It just depends. If he's, if he's a great counter puncher, and knows how to use the ring and get out the way. You know what I mean? It, but if he's just gonna wait there until the sixth, seventh round, and then start throwing, you know, I think Pacquiao's gonna take him apart. But it's just, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a good fight overall. Awesome. I'm excited to see. Are you guys gonna be going? Yeah, yeah, we may be going. Yeah. Awesome. And then, um, what are your guys' thoughts about Crawford and Amir Khan? Um, I think it's a, it's a difficult fight for Crawford too, because Amir Khan throws a lot of shots. Uh, um, he's a little bit bigger than him, but Crawford is a great boxer. He moves around the ring pretty good. Um, he has a lot of weapons that he can put in play to catch uh, Amir Khan with. So I'm giving the edge to uh, Crawford. Awesome, awesome. And then of course I have to ask you guys, you know, about your guys' breakdown on the Mikey Garcia versus Spence. It's gonna be good. I, I seen Mikey Garcia the other day at the fight, so he looks, he looks really strong. You know, there's still nine weeks left to the fight. Um, like I said, I'm Mexican, I have Mexican blood in me, you know, so Mikey has a good chance of winning. So I'm going, I'm behind Mikey Garcia 100%. But you can, you know, Earl Spence is truly one of the best in the welterweight division. He's a strong guy, strong softball, you know, he has a lot of weapons on his own. But you know, um, my heart is gonna stay with, you know, my people at the end of the day. And it's a close, it's a close showdown like that. So I'm going for Mikey Garcia. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, and then yourself, um, what, 
you're clearly in training camp. When is your fight? My fight, I'm actually going to be the co-main event for Mikey Garcia. Yeah, the co-main event. So it's going to it's going to be a huge stage. I'm just excited to get back in there. You know what I mean? And, and uh, continue my career and show everybody why why I'm I am the best at 168. You know I mean, I'm very excited to see what this year has in store for me. I'm excited, just training hard. You know what I mean, this is this is this is what I love to do. So I'm just going to go back in there. And, what I'm supposed to do. This is what I was born to do. This is what I'm meant to do. So I'm just going to show that. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so co main event. That's a Mikey Garcia Spence card. Awesome. Yeah. Wow, man. That's going to be so much fire. It's going to be exciting, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, man. You know, um, Pita, uh, Mikey Garcia's nephew. You yeah, know, RGBA. Yeah, no, nah, he's like a legit, like, oh, he's all about you. Yeah, <laughs> he thinks cool. you're the shit. He's a, he's a super cool dude. We're talking to him, me and my dad and, uh, and Jose, and my buddy. We're talking to him for, you know, the whole team sitting in front of him. So we're, we're talking to him the whole time. He's a really cool dude, man. Um, Hell yeah. All of them, all of them they're super cool. Mikey Garcia, his dad is cool. His brother's cool. I mean, they're just really humble people. Those are the type of people I like to... I like to surround myself, you know what I mean? You know, so you know, when we do see each other at, 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 at the fights and stuff, you know, there's that mutual respect. But he's, he's a class act. I like that guy a lot. Awesome. Hell yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.